This analysis dives into the stock charts for IBIT, focusing on several key indicators like price movement, volume trends, and popular technical analysis tools. The goal is to interpret current trends and forecast what might come next, providing actionable insights along the way. Let's understand the price chart trends. The price chart is a three-month candlestick chart with two moving averages, a 50-day, green, and a 200-day, blue. These moving averages provide helpful visual cues for trends and momentum. The chart shows that the price has been consistently climbing, forming higher highs and lows since late September. This steady upward movement was further confirmed by a breakout above $40, which has now pushed prices to $50 and beyond. An important signal called the Golden Cross, where the 50-day moving average crosses above the 200-day moving average, has emerged, confirming strong upward momentum. When it comes to support and resistance levels, $40 serves as a strong base, while $35 aligns with the 200-day moving average as additional support. On the other hand, prices may face challenges near the $52 to $55 range, which marks the upper limits seen in recent trends. Volume trends also support this analysis, with spikes during key breakout points, indicating buyer confidence in the stock's upward potential. What Bollinger Bands Tell Us About Momentum Bollinger Bands, which are used to track price volatility, offer additional insights into IBIT's momentum. The price is consistently near or above the upper band, which signals strong upward momentum. However, this could also mean the stock is entering overbought conditions, potentially paving the way for a short-term cooling-off period. The bands themselves are widening, which typically signals increased price volatility. Meanwhile, the stock price has consistently stayed above the middle band, reinforcing the strength of the uptrend. These observations suggest that while the broader trend remains strong, minor pullbacks could occur before the price continues upward. What we can learn from the stochastic oscillator. The stochastic oscillator measures whether a stock is overbought or oversold, and in this case, it shows clear, overbought conditions. The percent K line is approximately 95, and the percent D line is around 92 both well above the overbought threshold of 80. This indicates strong bullish momentum in the current trend. Persistent overbought readings often align with a strong uptrend, but they also hint at the possibility of short-term corrections. If the percent K line crosses below the percent D line while remaining in the overbought zone, it could signal a weakening trend or the beginning of a pullback. The MACD confirms the uptrend. The moving average convergence divergence MACD indicator adds another layer of confirmation to the analysis. The MACD line is at plus 4.2, positioned above the signal line at plus 3.8. This bullish crossover, combined with a histogram that shows positive and growing bars, indicates strengthening momentum in the stock's upward trajectory. As the distance between the MACD and the signal line continues to grow, the indicator suggests that the bullish strength is increasing. For now, the MACD confirms there are no signs of a trend reversal. What Williams Percent R says about market conditions. The Williams Percent R indicator offers similar insights to the stochastic oscillator. It has shown consistent readings in the overbought zone, hovering around zero for much of November. This reinforces the idea that IBIT is experiencing a strong uptrend. Overbought conditions like this are often a good sign of sustained momentum, but they can also precede short-term dips. If the reading remains above minus 20 for too long, it could indicate a potential retracement in the near future. Let's summarize the trends and make a forecast. All the indicators collectively point toward a clear uptrend in IBIT's stock. The price action, volume trends, and technical signals all support this view. In the short term, the price may test resistance at $52 to $55. Overbought conditions, as seen in the stochastic oscillator and Williams percent R, suggest that some consolidation or a pullback to support levels at $45 or $40 might occur before further upward movement. For the long term, the bullish trend looks intact. And if the stock manages to move past $55, it could aim for $60. If you are getting anything of value from this, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps the channel. What are the key takeaways for actionable insights? Now let's look at some conclusions. There are several positives and some cautions to keep in mind based on this analysis. Pullbacks to the $45 to $40 range could present potential buying opportunities. However, the overbought conditions indicated by the stochastic oscillator and Williams percent R warrant caution, as they may signal a temporary correction. Overall, the presence of a golden cross, increasing volume, 
and positive MACD readings suggest a strong and sustained bullish trend in the longer term. Monitoring these indicators closely will help identify the best moments to act. So a short-term pullback seems very possible, but longer term, the bull move is intact. But of course, this is just an idea, not a guarantee. This interpretation provides a balanced view of where the stock is headed, combining optimism with careful observations from technical data. Let me know if there is anything specific you would like to explore further. And please remember this is just a discussion, not investment advice. Thank you.